Hi everyone! I am so excited to be sharing with you our next project for our uh, junk journal that we are going to be making uh, that we're actually in the process of while we are all stuck at home. Um, so yesterday we uh, created a tea dye or coffee dye painting um, on recycled um, envelopes or junk mail and this was kind of my end project uh, by the time the day was over after going back and applying more and more coffee throughout the day to really get those darker tones in the areas that uh, would show shading um, and that shadow and so that is where i am i'm pretty happy with it um I think that, like as far as my design, I'd kind of like to go back in and maybe doing something with that later, maybe with some acrylic paint or something like that. I don't know though, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now and um, see where my other projects take me and then come back and make that decision later. And that's okay to do. Um, it's definitely alright to have several projects going on at one time. Um, it's okay to feel like I don't really know where to go um, or if I'm done um, it's okay to feel like that and then just come back and visit it later and you may decide then yeah it's definitely done or no you know I'm gonna go ahead with that other idea and keep working on it a little bit more so I'm gonna set yesterday's assignment um, or project aside and I'm gonna come back to that at a later time um, a different day so Today, what we're going to be working on, we are actually going to be making a repose uh, piece of artwork. Um, the supplies you're going to be needing are some sort of aluminum foil. Um, it doesn't matter what kind, just some sort of aluminum foil that you might have in the kitchen. You're also going to need some, some junk mail, okay? Um, some sort of junk mail that is kind of puffy a little bit, maybe. Um, so very different from like from our junk mail from yesterday. Uh, yesterday we just opened up an envelope, and and it kind of became our our paper canvas uh, for our painting. Whereas today we want to use a um, something that's a little bit thicker. Um, things like this are really great, you know, when it comes to. Uh, being a little more uh, padded and that's really what you're looking for um, I actually had really good luck <clears throat> with this little postcard uh, from a real estate company and so while I do like the design on it it was kind of the perfect thing for me to use I felt like and I feel like it, it was very successful um, so what we're going to do um, once you gather your junk mail and you gather your aluminum foil, uh, you will also, you will also need one of these envelopes to, uh, draw on today. So gather one of those and then a pencil of some sort. It does not need to be sharpened at all. Um, it's all right if you can draw with it. It's okay if it's really dull. In fact, the more dull it is, the better. Um, if you have a mechanical pencil that um, doesn't have a, a real sharp point on it, that's going to be really, really great. Um, you can also use things like uh, toothpicks. You can use things like, um, oh, anything that is kind of like a, a, a point, but not sharp. Uh, but it needs to be um, kind of hard. So maybe like a stick. Um, you could go out into the yard and just break a stick off of a bush. Um, that would also work in case you don't have any of these things at home. Like I've said before, there is no reason for you to go out and buy anything. Do not feel like you need to go buy anything. This is all about creating things from recycled materials or materials that we have at home. So if you don't have exactly what I'm using, then improvise. It's okay. That's a part of what makes art so great is that you're making this your own. I'm just trying to plant the seeds and the ideas for you. So what you're going to do first, so materials one more time, aluminum foil, pencil, 
you're going to need an envelope to open up again, right? So one of these, all right? And then your fluffy, like padded mail, okay? Uh, these four things you need today. Uh, another thing that you can also use if you like to, um, and if you have at home, is a little bit of glue. If you wanna get a little bit of glue out, then that's fine. You don't have to have glue though. Um, just to kind of glue some of the edges down on the foil. Um, but it's not necessarily something you need to do just because we can fold those, those edges over for now and that will work perfectly fine. All right, so putting our project from yesterday aside, we are going to take our envelope and we're gonna go ahead and just open that up. All right, so just open that up just like this. Just kind of pulling those sides open like that. Okay, now you have your canvas. Um, on this, we are actually going to be making some doodles. You know, when you're sitting in class or you're waiting on an appointment or you're talking on the telephone and you're just kind of making little swirls and zigzags and, and curvy lines and straight lines and circles and all those shapes. Um, that's what we're gonna do on this, okay? So while we have this ready, set that aside, and then go ahead and get a piece of tin foil. All right, it doesn't matter what size tin foil. Um, I'm using, it's about like probably 12 by 12 maybe, um, is a good size, okay? Now what you're going to do, you're gonna take your junk mail like this, and you're gonna take your aluminum foil. You're going to, Leave a bit of an edge like this, all right? You're gonna fold this over and it's almost like you're gonna wrap it like a present, okay? So just wrap it like a present, wrap it around like this. And then you're gonna see you have maybe a little bit extra, just fold it over, just fold it over just like that. Okay, and if you have like extra on the top or the bottom, you can fold that. Um, I did a smaller one too, uh, just to kind of show you in the end, you know, to help with time. Um, and so it really doesn't matter. So here was one and here was one. It doesn't matter, it, it will all work, it will all work. So on the side that does not have the fold, so here's my fold over like this. And this is where you could add a little bit of glue. If you have glue, you can just put a few little ladybug dots all on the inside here and then just, you know, seal it up and you're good to go. All right. So now we have this ready. It's beautiful. Um, now going back to our opened envelope, this is where I want you to doodle. Take your time. Just doodle. Have the best time. It doesn't matter. You just need to doodle all over the surface here just to make sure that the area in which you are going to be making your repose today will be covered with your design. Okay, so for example, I did mine like this. It's just a bunch of swirls and lines and circles and zigzags and polka dots and things like that. Mine's in, in dark ink just because I wanted you to be able to see it, okay? You can use pencil, you can use pen, it really doesn't matter, okay? So I just used my, my space so you can see how close things are to each other and that's what you really want. You want things to be really close together, you want things to be almost have that collage sort of look. Um, it, you can do patterns, you can just do designs, it's really up to you. Okay, so once you have all of your uh, doodles on your recycled envelope, um, then what you will do is you will take it and put it, I'll show you on this one. You're gonna take it and you're gonna put it underneath or on top of your aluminum foil piece. Okay, so it's like this. So my aluminum foil piece is just behind my doodles, just like that, all right? 
Now, you can, if you want to, you can fold this around it to kind of keep it still so it doesn't move around while you're working, okay? So you can fold it around, you can fold it up like this, okay? Just so it doesn't move. Do you have to fold it around it? No, you don't. Um, but if you're worried about it moving around and shifting, then yeah, go ahead and fold it around there and, um, and that makes it a little bit more secure, all right? I would say don't use any tape to tape this down um, only because your aluminum foil is uh, semi-fragile. It's not super thick. Um, it's not like doing 10 repose in art class. Um, this, is, this is really thin stuff. And so when you, if you get tape on to the tin foil, you see what could, what could happen actually. It could be, it could just rip off. So um, you don't wanna do that. So once you have your designs and then you wrap your paper around your tin foil piece or your aluminum foil piece, then what you will do, this is when the magic happens. You're going to take your, your dull pencil tip you can use a ballpoint pen too. And you're going to actually draw and trace over your designs. And when you do that, what will happen is your designs will start transferring and being pushed into your aluminum foil. Um, once you have, once you trace everything that you designed, then just remove that and all of your designs will be on your tin foil like this really cool huh but we're not done yet um i went over mine again so after i removed my my designs from my aluminum foil i actually took my pencil and kind of went back on top of them just lightly and sometimes i kind of went back and forth too just to try to get that line in there really really well um so that's what you probably will need to do it's kind of like you're just pushing the designs, kind of transferring the designs here, and then you go back and you really make them come alive, okay? So once you make them really come alive, if you have something like shoe polish or um, some acrylic paint or um, chalk paint, I'm going to use this. This is what I have here at my house. And so we're gonna see what happens. Um, but I'm gonna use a navy blue chalk paint. I'm also going to use, so this is kind of a step two. If you have paint at home, an acrylic paint, a tempera paint, shoe polish, chalk paint, anything like that will work. Um, but what you will do, you'll have that, and then you can use cotton balls. Or you could use your fingers and just kind of rub this over. You could use a paper towel and kind of blot this in. But what you will do, you're gonna have a little bit of paint. So I just took a cotton ball and I put a little bit of paint in the lid. You don't really need much paint at all. Um, again, do not go out and buy this. If you don't have anything like this at home, just wait and if you're in, if you're watching this and you're in my uh, art class, then you can come to my art class and we'll, we'll finish it up. Um, but I'm just going to put a little bit of this paint, coat it pretty good on the uh, cotton ball, and then I'm going to start covering my, um, my aluminum foil here. So, what you do not want to do, you do not want to push hard onto this aluminum foil with your designs. And it's because like what I was talking about earlier, it's soft, okay? So you'll end up pushing those designs out. And so you just very gracefully, gracefully, uh, just kind of go on top. You're gonna dab some more paint get that paint and get the get that paint in those grooves too you can do this by kind of like tapping the paint in um, but that's really where you want the paint to go all right so we're just kind of 
rubbing the paint down, getting it in all those grooves. Something super cool is about to happen though, I have to tell you. So this is kind of what it's going to look like when uh, you get it covered with, with whatever paint you have. Okay. Now you want this to dry and you can just fan it around. Acrylic paint doesn't take very long to dry. Chalk paint takes a little while, um, but not too long. Um, shoe polish, you want to be careful with shoe polish only because it can rub off. So make sure that you don't put that next to anything that um, is, is kind of important. Um, but once, once it dries, okay, then I want you to take a clean Q-tip. You could even use a paper towel. Q-tip. Um, I meant cotton ball. And you're just going to lightly start rubbing just kind of like the top coat of the paint off. Just kind of wherever you want it. And you'll see like it's starting to kind of wrinkle up right here. But you see what this does. Let me show you. Let me kind of get down here and get a little crazy with it. So I'm just lightly, just very, very lightly kind of going over it. But you can see right here in this area, you see where that paint is starting to come off? But the paint is being left into those grooves, right? So you can decide how much paint you want to leave in there um, or on top. You can decide how much paint, you know, if you like it coated like this and maybe you just want to lift a little bit off, um, you can totally do that. That's not a problem at all. Um, you really want to wait until this is completely dry um, to really do this part, but you know, it's just kind of fun. And then, you know what? Here's the other great part. You can go back. If you take too much off, then you can go back with your paint and put more on okay and you can just kind of do it again all right if you wanted to do multiple colors like one color underneath another i think that might be kind of cool too um just really experiment be an artist be your own artist uh while you're indoors and taking care of yourself okay um so this will also become once you kind of get this the way you want it this will also become a piece of art um, and a page in our in our journals okay so keep working on this today if you feel like you need to get uh, your coffee stained piece of artwork a little darker keep working on that um, just kind of leave them out leave them out and that way every time you walk by it you can look at it maybe you feel inspired um, I certainly hope that uh, I'm inspiring you to try something new um, you can do if you really if this is your jam then you can do several of these. If you want to do some more coffee, coffee painting or tea painting, um, you totally can. Um, don't just stop here. Keep going. Keep going. And don't be afraid of messing up. What happens if you mess up? Nothing. It, it just means that you tried and that you did something awesome and, and that's just great. All right. So keep going. Keep creating. Take care of yourself. Uh, stay inside, be happy, keep um, making others happy, be kind, be understanding, and be, be loving, okay, while we're all in. And I can't wait to see what you all are doing. Um, if you enjoy my video or uh, would love to subscribe, then do so just down below. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And I think that that would just be really cool. Thanks, everybody.